People often ask, why are white sharks so close to shore? Is that normal? Look at this white shark's mouth closely. There is a stingray barb hanging out of it. Evidence of a recent meal. And evidence that gives us clues as to why white sharks are so close to shore in Southern California. There are many scenarios in nature that can make your heart beat just a bit faster. Typically, they are moments that involve a large or unpredictable wild animal. None captivate audiences more than humans near sharks. Just the sight of a fin breaking the water is enough to instill fear in many people's minds. It's a reaction that is maybe even natural to us. This is a scene of a surf instructor becoming aware of a shark coming into the shallows. Notice how he points at the shark and alerts the kids nearby. As I pull back, you can begin to see why the shark is in the shallow water to begin with. Look closely and you'll notice stingrays are nearby. It should be to no one's surprise that rays are often found in the very same place humans like to swim. By now, you may recognize this trend. In shallow water, it may be all about the rays, or at least mostly about them. Other times, however, it may actually be more about the waves. Sometimes, as you can see here, there are multiple sharks in front and behind the beach breaks. It is evident that white sharks are masters of these waves. Every day in Southern California, we find ourselves surprisingly close to sharks, and majority of the time, unknowingly. Because they enter the surf zone often, they can come into close proximity to surfers. This is a recent scene of a lone surfer who encounters a shark up close. I'm sharing this footage in its entirety. When I filmed this, I was approximately 1.5 miles away. The shark, although it appears to be headed away, is actually on a circular path. These circular paths are common in these shallows. They are paths I've observed countless times. It's very much possible they do this to capture oxygen-rich waves and to essentially rest in the water column between sets. Notice how both the surfer and the shark are essentially riding on top of the same wave. The shark continues in the direction of the surfer, but it doesn't increase speed or change its demeanor. Its tail remains in a relatively calm movement. Whether the shark is directly pursuing the surfer or continuing on its path is hard to say, but it's clear the surfer cannot see the shark at this point. When it comes to shark encounters, it is wise to not allow the shark to get behind you. It's been suggested to keep as much eye contact with the shark as possible during an encounter. It is believed that this simple act can help deter a shark from its pursuit. In this scene, you can actually see almost at the exact moment that this surfer turns back toward the shark, the shark changes direction. The surfer now sees the shark and his reaction, it is priceless. Only hours later, what may have been the exact same shark coasted through the surf zone once again. This time, it's very clear the shark has no reaction to the surfers. This shark may in fact just be resting through the waves and not actually in pursuit of prey. This may explain its calm and rather indifferent behavior. 
it is ever so remarkable how the shark seemingly doesn't react to the surface whatsoever. It's become evident that a shark traveling through the water column within the waves moves in a much different manner than a shark foraging and hunting in the shallows. You may wonder exactly how so. Take a look at the following footage of a white shark in direct pursuit of prey. You will quickly notice how different it moves. This sequence of events is a display of a white shark's precise movements while in pursuit of prey. This shark is seemingly pursuing stingrays, leopard sharks, and even guitar sharks. Notice its speed. Able to stop on a dime, accelerate, and do it all over again. White sharks begin practicing their hunting skills at a very early age. Their practice of hunting as young juveniles off of Southern California coastlines means they will acquire the skills necessary for survival in an ever-changing environment. Once again, this white shark's movements while hunting are vastly different than when they are merely cruising through the waves. But it is in the shallows that they most often share the world with a host of other species. In Southern California, you can see sharks, dolphins, rays, and a whole host of other marine life near shore. And it's in the waves where there is oxygen. It's where there is food. It's also where we humans have to learn to coexist with them. And that takes trusting scientific study, education, and a desire to appreciate vital role sharks play in our oceans. I greatly appreciate your support on this channel and I look forward to bringing you more information featuring shark experts and scientists. I encourage you to read the citations in the video description below to learn more about the shark topics discussed. If you'd like to learn more about how to get involved in protecting our sea life, please visit the links of the organizations listed in the video description below.